Hey guys, Dykandrus back here again with another toy review. Now this time it's for the second alien that's in the new Aliens uh, NECA Kenner inspired wave. And this is for one of my all time favourite aliens from the Kenner line which is the Mantis alien. In fact, actually I really like all the aliens in the uh, Kenner line. Uh, Mantis is one of my favourites. Uh, Gorilla was one of my favourites and Killer Crab was one of my favourites as well which I ho really hope to see NECA do a uh, Killer Crab Alien. It'll probably be a deluxe because of the size of it but if they do it really cool I would imagine since they did an amazing job with the Spider Gremlin they, I can f foresee them doing an amazing job with the um, Killer Crab Alien. So moving on to the box I'll just review the box quickly. Um, Again, same window style uh, blister box that come with all the alien figures for the Kenner wave, or for the uh, NECA thing, wave, with the exception of the deluxe figures and ultimate figures. Um, just flipping around the back of the box, just showcases all the figures that were that are available bar one, which is this guy with the blue translucent, kind of bluish, um, bright blue alien warrior, which I mentioned in the previous video review that he's not actually officially out yet. So he will be probably released soon enough, and it's just a repaint of the uh, Big Chap Alien. Uh, this one also came with a comic book. In fact, I forgot to mention in the Queen Facehugger um, review, it came with a comic book as well, which is basically all the comic books that are coming with the NECA, or the Kenner inspired NECA figures, are all reprints of the ones that came with the original Kenner figures back in the day. So, box aside. Um, I'm going to go quickly onto the figure, and the figure is just m amazing. I love the head sculpt. It does have uh, extendable jaw. Now on this one, it's a bit stuck. Um, I have as a, I have two of these guys. I picked up two because I knew I'd love the figure. Um, it has this. The original figure had this kind of coppery teeth color, which I really love. Um, has some black and metallic washes painted over it. It's predominantly made from an int well, it is made entirely from translucent green plastic, but with the paintwork over it, it's it's done in such a way that you can't really see all the green the translucent green plastic, which is kind of cool. Um, this thing has just joints all over the place, and is one of my favourite figures. In fact, you can actually get it to stand up really, really high. Um, if you extend the legs nearly the full way, you can get it to a massive, nearly, I think, um, I watched another review for this, and it's like nearly 10 inches tall, which is a fantastic height. In fact, if I just bring in, get him to a stand without falling, I can just get it, one of the standard Predator figures, you can see he towers over it. Um, so, he's m amazing. Uh... Articulation points, he has ball jointed head, can go forward, backwards, ball jointed shoulders, can go forward, side to side, out, or out to side. Um, it's not too hindered by the sculpting, I thought it might be, but it's not. Um, you have double hinge elbows. Now, unlike the Gorilla Alien, Gorilla Alien has a swivel up here, the sh top of the shoulder, this one doesn't, but that doesn't really distract too much from him, because he has ball joints pretty much everywhere else. So he has joints here, here, he has one here, just at the where the wrist would be, and then he has a secondary joint down at the second wrist wrist area, and then he has even a small ball joint here on the claws. Uh, the claws are fantastic. I just love the way the design of the claws are done. Again, you have some of this copper coming through on some of the spikes uh, across the figure, even on the feet. The feet are fantastic. I love the feet. Um, they kind of they're not so much. Um, insect-like, but they look really, really cool. Um, he has, for his legs, standard ball joint, um, Kenner, or, or NECA ball joints for the for the hips. And then you got doubled knees for the knees, and because of the way the leg is designed, it has like a secondary knee. So you have um, like a chicken leg type thing. So you have another hinge here, ball joints, or ball just socket on the foot so you can get side to side forward and back on it and the tail doesn't have any articulation it's glued in place but it looks fantastic it has a really nice stinger on it but uh, it is a fantastic constructed creature and 
I have my original one, as you see, saw in the start of the video, it's standing there beside him. So I'll just, you can get this guy into some crazy poses as well. So if I'm just getting there, get him to stand up. So just get his feet flat on the ground. There we go. Here is the original one. Now, you might be saying that this is actually different to the original ones that you remember, and you would be right. This is actually the repainted version of the original. Uh, they did two versions, two uh, waves of it. This was released later on, I think as part of a KB exclusive. And it does exactly the same as the other one did. So, uh, as the original one, the Kenner one did, except just the paint is, instead of the silvers, like on the NECA one that they paid homage to, this one has black washes on it and silver teeth. Now, if I just find where I put the Gorilla Alien, one thing I should note that's interesting about these is I have both the original NECA Gorilla, or Kenner Gorilla Alien and the Mantis Alien, and the Mantis Alien is actually a retool of the original Gorilla Alien uh, from Kenner, but NECA actually didn't do go the same route that um, Kenner did, and they actually gave us two kind of fairly different sculpts for the um, for the figures, which is quite good. I quite enjoyed that. Now quite quite happy that they did that route. So for this guy, pretty much everything from here down to the knees are are standard alien parts from their like already existing molds. Tail is different. This entire section is kind of glued on over the standard alien um, buck. So you have all this extra sculpted stuff. The necks are different. The head obviously is different. The lower, in fact, all the arms are completely different. It's not the same standard alien stuff with things added. These are all new sculpted parts. And then the legs are completely new from the knees, or the first set of knees down, which is a fantastic way of doing the figures. Um, I do hope, as I said, NECA continues this trend. Um, they can get a good lot of mileage out of some of the existing alien molds anyway and reuse them. So. That's the um, Alien Mantis Alien from Kenner, which is the new NECA figure. And as an accessory in the box, it also comes with this. Uh, it's a bit hard to see. Let me just get it up there. This is a chest burster that's supposed to be designed to be the chest burster for the Mantis Alien. Now, the original Kenner one didn't come with any little mini ex accessory like that. But. Um, I like the way Ken, uh, Neku did the nod to this. The only thing I would say is it is a little shame that they didn't sculpt. Um, they just repainted one of their standard um, one of their standard chest bursters. It would have been cool if they actually re-sculpted the front arms on it to look a bit more like the Mantis Alien and maybe a bit give it a bit more ridge on, ridges on the head to make it a little bit more noticeable that it's a different uh, chest burster than a standard one. But Saying that, it still looks fantastic and it's a great uh, additional packing to the figure. So, all in all, I do recommend this figure. I, if you can, as I said in my previous video, I picked up two of each of these figures from the um, Kenner Wave. I picked up two Mantis and two Gorilla Aliens and I absolutely love them. I haven't had any issues with them. Um, I know sometimes people complain about quality control issues with the Kenner or with the NECA figures. With these ones, I haven't had any quality control issues, so I do recommend picking them up. And if you love the Kenner figures like I do, I would recommend picking up uh, maybe one or two and have a really uh, cool diorama for your uh, display as well. So there you go, guys. Just a quick video review for the Kenner-inspired NECA Mantis Alien. And as I say in my rev reviews, feel free to click like on the video if you liked it. Feel free to comment on the comment section below and feel free to subscribe to my channel. There you go guys, cheers!